Um, it'd probably help if I had my TBR jar. Hey, 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 welcome to Bookmas. This is my first year of doing Bookmas. I am so ecstatic for it. If you've never seen Bookmas before or any type of Vlogmas, I'll be uploading one video every day for the first, first, through, for... I'll be uploading one video every day for the first 12 days of December. So this is going to be video number one. Of course, we have to kick it off with the popular TBR jar prompt video and pick out my December TBR. Also, if you see any books on here that were on my November TBR, no, you don't. But these are my options. I do have two in the back that you can't see right now. Maybe those will come up later. Basically, I'm going to be picking six prompts from this jar. We're going to match them up to a book, and then those will be added to the books that I will be reading in the month of December. Hopefully, let's get into it. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jessie. Happy Book Miss. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I post all things bookish. And let's just get on with it. So, first prompt. We'll be digging deep. My cat is giving me such a nasty stare right now. She's like, why are you interrupting my beauty sleep? Because you sleep 10 hours, 16, 24 hours a day. Has a purple cover. Perfect. Uh, you know what has a purple cover? A book that was on my November TBR. So I should carry it over, right? Because that would be the right thing to do, the smart thing to do. I don't have many books with purple covers, actually, so that might be the only one. But that book is To Kill a Shadow. I never ended up reading this in November. Uh, I really wanted to after I found out what it was about. So I think I'm going to need to carry this over. The only other options I would say would be True Colors. This has a little bit of purple in it. Very subtle, though. Then we're going to go with To Kill a Shadow since it has more. Other than that, I think everything else is leaning more on the blue side, but this is the closest we're going to get to a purple. To Kill a Shadow is a young adult fantasy, and the reason why I picked this last time was because there is a knife to the throat picture on the end page so yep this is about a main character jude says he knows only his grim duty as the hand of death to lead the knights of the eternal star into a land filled with nightmares and certain demise and then he sees her a young woman with wild amber eyes who's as fierce defiant and swift as the shadow beasts themselves and they fall for each other at the end i guess we have an outcast kiara she views him differently than everybody else does everybody's afraid of him and she's like no i'm not gonna be afraid of him I love that. <laughs> this is with the kingdom on the verge of collapse, the knights must now venture into the darkest heart of the land and uncover the secrets of the misted shadows where evil will prey upon their minds and feast on their flesh. Perfect. Book one. Can you see it? No. Can you see it now? All right, moving on to prompt number two. Prompt number two is, has my fave color on the cover? We're very colorful this month. So my fave color is blue. Can't read that. I haven't read the first one. Of Jade and Dragons does have blue, and it also has blue end pages, or sprayed edges, which is such a beautiful blue, if you guys can see that. Ooh, wait, okay, I have a lot of options, I think. So, Everything I Never Told You does have a blue cover. There's also covers with a little bit of blue in them, but I don't think we're gonna pick those. I can do this graphic novel, which is about a cat finding their family, and I think it's so adorable. But this is more of like a blue-green, not necessarily my favorite shade of blue, but we'll keep this as an option. I also have Lonely Castle in the Mirror, which is a book that I have wanted to read for so, so, so long. Well, not as long as some of the other books that I've found on my TBR, but it's gonna get up there eventually if I don't read it yet. I have this. Metal Slinger does have a little bit of blue, not as much to add it to this prompt, I feel. I also have a little poetry book down here. But I don't think I'm going to pick that. I think I'm going to go with Lonely Castle in the Mirror. I just need to read this. I really do. This is about a young girl named Kokoro. And she got bullied to the point of her dropping out of school. And now she doesn't want to deal with friends or family or anybody. She keeps herself in her room. All of a sudden her mirror starts glowing in her room. She touches it. She gets thrown into this fantasy world where there's a castle and this girl with a wolf mask guarding this castle. So we don't know what's up with her, but there's a room in this castle that can grant you a single wish. Her and six other students are trying to figure out where this room is, but along the way they uncover secrets for this castle. That's pretty much all I know, but it seems like such a good book. I'm super stoked for this. This will be book number two. Picking prompt number three. I have by an author you've never read. This is good. I have a lot of authors on here that I've never read before. I have Caitlin Josephson. This one is, I believe multiple oh it's Preston and Child those are their last names I really don't want to read that book though I've never read a book by Amber Chen which is of Jade and Dragons by John Gwynn but this book is uh thicky and I'm not gonna pick that one I've read those authors I have not read a Vary McFarlane book and I've heard great things about them never read a book by Jane Austen I have Pride and Prejudice Kristen Hanna I never read a book by Kristen Hanna so I could also pick True Colors this book was actually on my fault TBR I should probably maybe lean towards picking that one I also have multiple down there but what do I want to read? I think I really 
Wanna Read Just Last Night by Vara McFarlane. Just because this will be a quick romance read. This is about a group of friends. They've been friends since they were teenagers. They are in their 30s now. They go to like a Thursday night bar trivia type thing. One of our characters, Eve, has been secretly in love with another one. His name is Ed. I feel like she might be starting to act on that, but then a whole bunch of secrets are unleashed and everything gets kind of chaotic. I think the friend group starts falling apart because all these secrets are being revealed. And then someone from Eve's past actually comes back into her life. I don't know if the romance is going to be between her and this past person or her and Ed. Very curious to find out, but this seems like a good book and I've never read this author before, so we'll see if I like them. I'm moving on to prompt number four. This is a mystery slash a thriller. I don't think I have any strict mystery thrillers because that's not necessarily a genre that I usually go for. Do I? I don't think I do. Should I do something I've never done before? Should I add a book that's not on this cart? Because I'm at the point where I don't feel overwhelmed with my TBR. There are two mystery series that I'm in the middle of, which is The Naturals and Truly Devious. I've only read the first book, so I would like to continue. Question is, do I want to read Killer Instinct or do I want to read The Vanishing Stare? Oh gosh, why is this going to be a hard decision for me? What do I want to read? I think I'm going to pick The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson. So we're going to 10 added to my tbr but this is book two in the truly devious series it's about this girl who goes to this academy there was a crime in the past where the head person's daughter and wife were kidnapped our main character goes to this academy and she loves trying to find out mysteries and she loves crime and whatnot so she's gonna attempt to figure out this crime or get more information on it while also figuring out a crime that just took place in her first year at this academy it's like a double mystery which is super fun but i just read truly devious last month no in october so i definitely want to continue this series. All right, so that'll be book number four, picking prompt number five. Um, five star prediction? What better prompt could we have gotten? Okay, okay. Yeah, this one's gonna be my five star prediction. This is Metal Slinger by Rachel Snyder. I'm going into this book completely blind. I have heard a few booktubers talk about this now. I've had this on my radar for a couple months. All I know this is a fantasy romance. I don't want to know too much about it because I am excited to find out along the way. I want to go in blind and see why people love this book. I don't really want to know what's gonna go on. This is book one of a series. Should I be starting another series right now? No, but also you only live once. So book five, Metal Slinger. Okay, stay with me guys, stay with me. All right, that's our last, no, we're moving on to our last prompt. So this is gonna be prompt number six, our last one, and we shall see what we're gonna get up to. Oh, this one looks fun. Author shares my initials. I don't think I have someone that specifically shares my initials. My initials are JS, but if someone has a J, we might just have to go with that. No, thank goodness. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting too excited. I need to calm down and breathe. J. Kristoff, his name's with the J as does mine. I need to read this. I need to continue this trilogy. I feel like I've talked about this in so many of the past videos that I've filmed, but I'm going to talk about it again. This is God's Grave, book two of Nevernight Chronicles. This is about our main character Mia. She's an assassin. She's training to become a great assassin to get revenge on the people who executed her father and just destroyed her family. And that's all you need to know. Just know that this is chaotic and you're going to love it if you read this. I'm telling you to read this, by the way, if you couldn't if you didn't get that. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. <laughs> so that is going to be book six. Going back through, let's see if I can remember the prompts because every time I do the little recap, I never remember the prompts, but I think I'm going to get it this time. So a book with purple on the cover or a book that has a purple cover, we have To Kill a Shadow by Katherine Quinn. And then a book with my favorite color, Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Sujimura. Next, we have an author that I've never read before. This is Vary McFarlane. Just last night, little cute romance read, I'm assuming, but maybe a little intense because it deals with secrets and drama. And I'm so there for that. That's book three. And then we have book four, which is Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson, a little YA mystery thriller. Um, and then we have... We have sirens going off. <sighs> Who done did it this time? I don't think you guys will be able to hear that, so we're just going to continue. But we have a... Why did I already forget? I literally just remembered it and now I already forgot. A five-star prediction, Metal Slinger by Rachel Schneider. And then lastly, we have an author that shares the same initial slash initials as me, Jay Kristoff. We're going with the J. God's Grave. Bada bing, bada boom. This is now some of my December TBR. I do plan on hopefully reading a lot once I get all of these bookmiss videos up and going. I just want to spend the holiday season reading because that's my happy place and the holidays are quite lonely. So I would just like to be spending time with some fictional characters. That is it for Bookmas day one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for Bookmas. If you want to stick around and see all my other videos that I'll be uploading, feel free to subscribe, like this video, comment down below what book you are planning to read in December. Just give me one book off your December TBR. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Happy Bookmas. I hope you have a great day or a great night wherever you are. And I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>